Hello, I'm Taya Gurken. I'm a contributor to Acoustic Guitar, and I'm here with the newest version of Taylor's 814CE guitar. Uh, the 814CE has been in the Taylor line for a long time, um, but it's been updated with some new appointments, some different internal uh, designs, and uh, it's probably the best sounding Taylor 814 yet. So let's have a listen to it a little bit more. I'm tuned to Dad Guy tuning here, and you heard me play a little bit, but I'm going to play just a little bit more finger style on it so you can get an idea of what it sounds like. <laughs> The first thing I'm noticing when I'm playing the guitar is, of course, the playability. Taylors have always been known for their playability, and this is no exception. Uh, great feeling neck, one and three quarter inches at the nut, so very finger style friendly. Um, not quite as thin as some earlier Taylor necks have been. Um, I have a 94 Taylor uh, 712, mm -hmm. and uh, it definitely has a slightly thinner neck profile than this, mm -hmm. but I find this, I prefer this, very, very comfortable to play. Um, I love the maple binding on the, uh, on the fingerboard, and uh, one thing I've noticed as I was playing this that I appreciate that it's plain maple, not too flamey. Uh, I find that sometimes when people use very flamed uh, woods for their binding on the neck, it gets uh, distracting from the position markers in, in, the, in the side of the fingerboard, and this is not a problem with this. Um, great fretwork, uh, super low action, you're really not going to find an easier playing acoustic guitar than this. Um, some interesting appointments, it's got a, a rosewood uh, pickguard, which you don't see very often. Of course, maple binding around, chrome tuners. Now let's see what the guitar sounds like with a pick. The uh, 14 series has been touted as being a very versatile guitar. People use them whether they're finger style players or uh, strummers, flat pickers. So let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> tell it's got a really great big rich strumming voice. I'm still in dad got tuning here so I have lots of open strings that ring through but the fretted notes really don't lose any definition. So. And with the playability um, you could play like that for a long time without your left hand getting uh, getting tired. Uh, really a, a nice playing and sounding guitar. Uh, responsive played finger style and yet can really take a little bit of a strum and, and breathe that way. Now the guitar also has Taylor's new Expression System 2 um, uh, pickup uh, system built in. So let's have a quick listen to what that sounds like plugged into our Fishman Loudbox 100 amp right here. <laughs> Expression System 2 is a brand new pickup system that Taylor is introducing for 2014. In this case, it's installed in an 814 CE model guitar, uh, but this system will be replacing the earlier Expression System uh, slowly throughout the year, starting with the higher end models uh, and most likely going through the entire line fairly soon. The Expression System 2 is a complete redesign of Taylor's proprietary pickup system. While the earlier expression system used a magnetic pickup that was un installed underneath the uh, fingerboard, as well as a soundboard transducer that was uh, mounted to inside the top, um, this system has a set of three piezo crystals that are mounted in the bridge. But what's different about this system from most bridge-mounted piezo systems is that rather than installing the pickup under the saddle, as in an under-saddle transducer element, uh, it installs them behind the saddle, and there are three of them, 
uh, between the pairs of strings, one between the fifth and the sixth, one between the uh, third and the fourth, and one between the uh, first and the second. And the uh, piezo crystals push against the saddle from behind. So they're kind of from between the bridge pins and the saddle in here. Uh, they're adjustable with a tiny little Allen wrench uh, in terms of the pressure that is applied to the saddle. Uh, but set up from the factory, uh, there really shouldn't be any adjustments necessary on this. Because this approach to piezo amplification uh, senses the way the saddle rocks back and forth ever so slightly rather than the up and down motion, Taylor says that it offers a much bigger dynamic range than traditional piezo systems. And um, we will listen to it and see what it sounds like as well. Uh, but before I play the guitar a little bit more, uh, let me talk about the preamp. Taylor uh, designed a new preamp for the system. It looks like the old expression system preamp from the outside has the same set of controls as a volume control, a uh, treble control and a bass control. And inside, uh, reachable through the sound hole, there's also a face reversal switch. So if you have problems with feedback um, or it just doesn't sound right, the face reversal switch is a good option to have right on board your guitar. Now let's listen to the system a little bit more. You heard me play it finger style, and a lot of pickup systems can sound great if you're playing very soft. You're not really driving the system very much. You're not overloading it, its dynamic range. Uh, but the real test is to see what it sounds like with a flat pick. So I'm going to uh, strum the guitar here with a heavy wagon pick, and I'm still in, in dadgat tuning, so I'm really going to pound out the, the rhythms here. <laughs> You can probably tell that even though I'm driving the guitar very hard with a pick, um, it really lacks that unnatural attack that some pickup systems uh, have. Uh, quite, a, quite a huge dynamic range for, for the system. Um, and I think it's a huge step forward in terms of factory mounted onboard electronics on a stock guitar. Um, just to close things out, let me also play it a little bit more playing finger style. And I also wanted to point out that even though uh, the guitar's string sensitivity is obviously great, it also has quite a bit of body sensitivity. I can tap the body, and uh, it really comes through. There's no need for an additional source, like an internal mic or a soundboard transducer, to make that happen. Uh, the location of the piezo crystals inside the bridge are such that it picks up a very complex, large uh, signal from the guitar. I should also quickly demonstrate the uh, EQ on the guitar which is quite effective. There are center detents in, in, in all the buttons, so volume is obvious. Um, the range of the bass is as such, all the way, and the treble. If you turn up um, the controls both the s uh, to the same amount, you get a slight mid-scoop in the signal, which is very popular or mid-boost if you turn both of them uh, counterclockwise. So even though there's only a bass and treble control, you can really, they're preset in such a way that you can think of them as uh, allowing you some control over the mids as well. So that's the Taylor Expression System 2. My name is Taylor Gherkin. I'm going to play out a little bit with a slightly longer clip so you can really hear the system played. <laughs> 